why Baptists can't give up on the Trinity. I'm going to give you three reasons why. First and foremost, because Freemasonry is Trinitarian. I have a video about bombshell proof that the high-level Freemasons, they actually have different orders of Trinitarians. And um, you are required to be a Trinitarian in order to be a high-level Freemason. Um, there's actually a Trinity Lodge up in Presque Isle here in northern Maine. And there are Trinitarian lodges all over the United States. Hmm, interesting. Number two, the Catholic cult is Trinitarian. They actually have an order of Trinitarians, a celibate priesthood of men, as far as I know. I think they are celibate. But um, I did a video on them, and I'm going to be putting links to all this stuff in the somewhere, video description or some kind of a thing here. Maybe I'll put it at the end, or I'm not even sure if they're even on YouTube anymore. YouTube likes to delete my videos and comments of commenters out there. So if your comments are being deleted, there's a good chance I'm not the one doing it. I do delete some ridiculous comments, but... Um, the other thing is, uh, in order to be officially recognized by the Roman Catholic Church, to have a valid baptism, it has to follow the Trinitarian formula. All right? did a video proving that. And the Baptist Church is actually, their baptism is recognized as valid by the Roman Catholic Church. And I don't mean Southern Baptist, I mean Independent Fundamental Baptist. Their baptism is considered valid, according to the Roman Catholic Church. I have a video proving that. And finally, academia is Trinitarian. Um, you don't want to be some kind of dumb money that actually believes what the Bible teaches about the Godhead doctrine. So in order to have the um, pat on the back from your alma mater, kind of a weird thing to go through as a Christian, have, an, have another mother, hmm, an educational institution. But in order to get the pat on the back from the alma mater, you have to be Trinitarian. And that's why the Baptists will not give up on this stupid heresy. Uh, Peter Ruckman, um, very, I think a lot of, of what he has taught was, was very good, but um, he mixed Godhead doctrine with Trinitarianism for those three reasons right there. Because Freemasonry is Trinitarian, the Catholic Church is Trinitarian, and academia is Trinitarian. Um, that's why I stay away from the Trinity doctrine, that and because it doesn't line up with Scripture. Jesus Christ is God. He's not one of three gods or one of three persons that call themselves God. Okay? Get that thing straightened out. I'll leave some videos here at the end that you can watch and understand the Godhead doctrine from the King James Bible. Thank you for watching.